Hello again, folks. Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director, and we've done it. Here we are in part eight of our eight-part basic training for Cyberlink Power Director. We have finished our movie. We've added some effects. We've added some cool titles, added some transitions and some music. It is time to output our movie. There are actually a couple of ways to output your movie. You can produce it as a video file, or you can create it as a DVD or Blu-ray disc. Let's take a look at Produce just by clicking on the tab here at the top left of the program. And the program has a number of ways for you to finish your movie. There are AVIs, MPEG-2s, an image sequence, which is a cool way to add some special effects or to clean up your video. That's actually a whole separate tutorial on its own. Probably the most common way or the universal language for video is the AVCHD or the AVCH H264. This creates an MP4 file. A little more advanced to that is the HEVC. We're starting to see more and more of that. But if you want to create a file that you know is going to be compatible with virtually any player or any video editor, you probably want an H264. And uh, as an MP4 is great. And you can see you have options here, saving it in standard definition, 640 by 480, up to 1280 by 720, 1920 by 1080, all the way up to UHD 3840 by 2160 and even 4096 by 2160. These are 4K file formats, so you can save your video in a number of formats and a number of different frame rates. The program is very good about using your hardware, your graphics card, to speed up its rendering and it can even use something called SVRT which is smart rendering to save itself time rendering things that don't need to be re-rendered. There are other options for outputting your movie if it's a 3D movie there's some 3D options. If you want to share it online there are options for sending it directly to YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo or Nico Nico. The program will automatically create an optimized format and send it directly to any of those sites. It can even create an optimized format for saving it to a phone, say an Android or an Apple phone or an Apple device like an iPad, saving it to your Sony PSP, or even sending it back to your camcorder. That's something you don't see a lot of anymore because most camcorders can't record from a computer anymore, but that's available if you have an older tape-based camcorder that can record from a computer. Now, in addition to these movie files, you can create a disc. We'll click on Create Disc. And here in the Create Disc workspace, we have options for adding movies to our disc, for building out a structure for our DVD or Blu-ray disc, for creating menus, both a main menu and a scene menu. You can create links to various scenes in your movie. And a great many of these menu templates can not only be applied, let's just double click, we'll just apply it to all pages here but you can actually modify them in the menu designer. So as with everything in PowerDirector, there are great templates, but there's also the option to modify them and personalize them if you'd like. As you can see, some great looking templates here. And once again, if you see this little blue thing in the upper left-hand corner, there are many more templates available for free from the director zone. You can go up there and a lot of uh, Cyberlink users have created beautiful menu templates that you can download for free and just download right into the program here and they'll become a part of your library. A lot of great ways to share your movie. And PowerDirector really has everything you need to go from beginning to end, from assembling your media all the way out to outputting your final movie project. If you want to know everything there is to know about this amazing program, I hope you'll check out my moviepix.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. It is available on Amazon.com. Shows you how to use every one of these tools, even shows you some very deep, high level tools in the program. And if you have any questions at all, come by our free community forum at moviepix, M U V I P I X.com. Post your question. We'll get you an answer usually within an hour or two. Uh, I'm Steve Grizzetti, and I'm always there and always working on new books, always putting up tutorials. I hope you'll continue to check out uh, all the things that MoviePix has to offer. Thank you all for joining me. Hope to see you at MoviePix.